welcome back if you haven't watched the first part of this video i highly recommend that you go ahead and watch it because we're going to miss out on all that has happened here so let's go ahead and continue because this this part here is where most i guess most of the time will be it will be allotted to and going to take most of the time so let's now go ahead and start our if statement because we're going to be checking to validate which of the numbers that the user would have entered so let's go ahead now and, and do just that so we're going to, first of all we're going to say if item is equal to one we're going to say the sub, the sub total. This is our new variable. Is equal to the quantity times the item number. So that's the the variable for the item number one. So yeah, and I'm going to copy and paste it because we're going to be using this. A lot. I'm just this here actually. So let's go ahead and we're going to do an else statement now. Our elif statement. So we're going to say l if item no equals this is the com the equal equ equality operation equal num three num two I should say this should say the same thing but no it's item two so we can just go ahead and we can we could copy all of this now and we could go down here and elif and edit it say so elif item no equal three so now we're going the, the subtotal is going to be equal to the quantity times the item number three so for the fourth one the same so we're just going to change this to four and this also to four and for the fifth and final we're just going to say else because it's the final one we do not have to do any cal any sequence calculations we're just going to say else else the subtotal the subtotal is equal to the quantity times five and this is where persons will probably make the most mistake when doing this thing here because and you probably shouldn't copy and paste but i i prefer to do i think it's much easier and to type all of that because it makes no sense all right so print for of the space and now we're going to be displaying the calculations all right so now we're going to be printing out all right so the subtotal so we're going to say the subtotal is and we're going to give it some tabs so that's two tabs now we're going to put a dollar sign there show that we work with currency concatenate and this what i'm going to be doing here is just to give this is just to give a, a per a decimal number at the end so a real looking decimal number so that's two places from the value that we're going to be doing and here we're now going to add the modules and then we're going to add one total here and that should give us a beautiful decimal place number as you can see as you will see and for our sales tax our sales tax will be equal to sales underscore top times the subtotal now to print
print out our sales as we're going to say print and we're going to say sales tax as the name and we're going to do that the thing again to give us our our decimal value we're going to as you see we're doing it in a different way here but it's the same thing to give us the decimal value and we're going to tab here and put our dollar sign here and close our quotation concatenate put the same bracket here so we're saying sales tax i wish this was the uh, pie chart because it would show much better this should be highlighted as well but the entity will complain rather than having that here so our total is now equal to the subtotal plus the sales box and now we're just going to our final thing is just to print So we have a syntax error here. Let's go ahead and see what our syntax error was. So this should be I am no equals int input bracket here. This should not be given unless it out here so yes the bracket this wasn't close so that's how you would get a syntax error because and it's it's good that you get to see that there was an error because this could help you in the debugging so sometimes it's not exactly on the line that it shows the error it could be above it most of the time it's above it probably it's below but most of the time it's above it let's go ahead and and we should actually save it's better save and now we run and we'll see what what we get and again we have another syntax error here which should not be all right so let's see where we went we went wrong here I'm sorry that we're having so many arrows. Let's see, let me see what's wrong. So this should be correct. Error here. All right. So if I am no is equal to zero, let's see if that's zero. Or item no is less than five. Let's run this again and see. see what we did wrong one. Let's go ahead and see. Should we have left no? 
Saying that it's right here. All right. Now this is a perfect example why I don't like to use this thing. However, there is no issue here. So, all right. So let's run this again. Okay. So now you're working. All right, so let me just extend this here. All right, so this is what it's supposed to look like. It could be better. These could be done. So let's go ahead and use these things. So it says one quantity, one item one, and 10 for the quantity. That's what we're going to be using. Or this here. All right, so we're using item one, and for the quantity, it's ten. And as you can see, we have our same values that are given in the example. So thank you very much for taking the time out to watch this video. Sorry that we had. There the issue that we had. Sorry, that it has it had to be two videos as well. Please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank. Please subscribe, share with a friend. Thank you.